It's beautiful, it's creamy and delicious, and it's so aromatic from the roasted cashews. You've got to try this one. It's the best. You gotta try it. Today I'm making the best vegan cashew gravy. This is the first vegan gravy recipe I ever made. I have been using this recipe for 20 years. I love this recipe so much. It's cashew based. So if you want to do something that has no oil, this is good. The cashews do have their own natural fat in it. And if you want to do one with no fat at all, then you need to look at my miso mushroom gravy recipe. So be sure to check that one out. But they're both totally different recipes and they're so delicious. I make both of them usually at Christmas and Thanksgiving because I love them so much. But this is a recipe I really want to share with you guys because it's very basic and very good. It has its very distinct flavor because of the cashew base. So the first thing that we need to do is roast our cashews. I did not soak my cashews and I don't recommend that you soak them. That makes it even easier. But I'm just gonna put my cashews on a tray and put them in the broiler. usually good to put a timer on because that's easy to forget. Okay, that's about how you want them. You can see they're nice and toasty and on some sides they're not browned at all. That's totally just fine. So now we're just gonna add all the ingredients into the food processor and we blend it all together and that's basically it but I always cook it a little on the stove to marry all the flavors together. It'll thicken up because there's arrowroot powder in there and that's when you can add more veggie broth and water. All right, here we go. Now it's time to blend this up first before we add everything else and we want to make this really fine. Definitely a cashew flour and even if it becomes a little bit like a paste, that's totally okay. Let's give that a stir around. As you can see, that's really pretty fine and it's smelling delicious because they're roasted cashews. Okay, so now I'm gonna add our veggie broth and I'm not gonna add all of it yet. Coconut aminos. Some water. Not gonna add all of that yet. I'm using arrowroot. That's a hard word to say, arrowroot powder. That's important to make it thicker. And I'm going to just take the stems off my cilantro and just put that in and let's give it a blend. So at this point, you can see this is very liquidy and you're gonna think that you added too much liquid, but I promise you, when you cook this and the arrowroot thickens, you're gonna need to add more. And when you heat this up for the next day or the days after, you really will keep adding a little more veggie broth because it gets thicker and thicker. So although this looks runny, it won't be when we cook it. So let's add our seasonings now. We're gonna add some salt and some pepper. And we're gonna add some thyme. Usually I add only thyme. This is the most important seasoning. Let's do a whole spoonful, like a tablespoon. Since it happens to be the holidays, I'm gonna add a little sage, but you don't have to, just a little. And actually I'm gonna add the rest of that veggie broth. 
it's that easy. Now all I have to do is heat it up on the stove to thicken. If I wanted to at this point, I could put it in the fridge and use it tomorrow and cook it then. But because I want to do a taste test with you and show you the nice consistency of it, I'm going to put it in a pot on my stove and then we'll cook it up, okay? So now you want it on low or medium heat and you're going to see it's going to get thick. It's just coming to a boil and you see how nice and thick that's getting? And that's why you have to cook it. Not just for the flavor, but for the thickness of it. So can you see? Look at how thick that is. And I honestly love the color of this gravy. There's no milk added. That's just the creaminess of the cashews. I'm gonna turn it off now, and I'm gonna add a little more veggie broth. Okay, let's give it a little taste just to see if I need any more of my seasonings. Man, that's perfect. I don't need to add anything extra. The spices are delicious. It's fantastic. I cooked a little potato and I'm gonna go get it and then do a little taste test with the gravy. Okay, I just baked up a really small baked potato. Actually, I broiled it and then I just put it in my air fryer to crisp it up. But it's been sitting here for a bit, so it's not that crispy, but it's still going to be delicious. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Wow. That is the best. And just a couple suggestions to use a delicious gravy when you're making a vegan meal. You could use like a kabocha squash or a butternut squash and you could fill it with rice and some kind of stuffing or just like rice and mushrooms and then put the gravy over the top. You can make like a lentil loaf, like a roast or a loaf and you slice it. I do that all the time and put gravy over it. I love it like that. But I also like it just over mashed potatoes like the traditional holiday dinner or for me mashed potatoes are good anytime not just a holiday. And if you want something really that's oil free I just boil these potatoes and then air fry them with nothing not even a spritz of oil and then you just can eat it with gravy like this and this is oil free. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So good. Honestly, you guys, this is one of the best vegan gravies ever. You have to try it. Last bite. Mmm. Man. Fantastic. <laughs> 